an emergency to get better. An emergency for you to love better. An emergency for you to baptize better. An emergency for you to follow better. Today, you start feeling a little bit called out. Don't worry, you're at church. You don't have to be great to get started, but you gotta get started if you wanna be great. Let me tell you something, the longest walk you'll have is your walk with God. See, when you walk with someone, two things happen. You adjust to their pace, or they adjust to yours. God doesn't slow down for anybody. We've got to keep pace with God. We've got to adjust our pace to run the Christian race. The greatest lie is not that there is no God. The greatest lie is, that there is not that there is no Satan. The greatest lie is there is no hurry. You got all the time in the world before you want to make the call of God an emergency to get better. I want to get past your mind, influence your emotion, and change your will with the Word of God. It's an emergency. It is urgent that you deal with the bitterness associated with not having a father. It is urgent that you deal with your lack of boundaries growing up in a home where there's sexual abuse. It is urgent that you deal with your angry feelings towards God because incest was a normal thing in your home. It is urgent that you deal with your religiosity where you use God and you don't worship God. An emergency to get better. You wanna get better, you gotta get back to the basics. One of the basic things is to just trust God. One of the basic things about being a disciple is to preach. One of the basic things is, is, is to love God. I hope you believe in prayer. It's a basic thing as a Christian. You don't want to preach. You got an issue. You may be in Egypt. Don't go back to Egypt. Go, go back to the base. Build that altar. Not a glorious place, but that's what we've got to do. Is it an emergency for you to get better? A relationship with God doesn't magically appear. You have to build it. You don't just magically find insights in the Bible. You have to build it. You don't just magically get faith because you hear a Sunday sermon. No, you have to read your word, the Word of God tomorrow on Monday morning. You know, when you see what you want to see and miss what you need to see, you know what happens? You step right into sin. And sin takes you further than you ever think you want to go. Sin will take you much further than you ever want to go. I want to give you a challenge. Make it an emergency to get better.